Hi guys, it's Ray. I'm going to work on some of my Timu jar molds today. I have the strawberry, the um, bee jar with the honeycomb bottom, which is covered in glitter, and then I have the paw prints. So uh, the strawberries I'm going to keep pretty simple, and I'm going to do that first. I'm going to use um, resin pigments for this one. So the top is not going to take very much green. I don't know how much the jar is going to take. So I'm just going to use a measuring, you know, a medicine cup for that. Because I don't want to over mix too, too far. And I'm going to use this peridot green for that. And these, I believe, HTV Runt sent me. It's a little chilly when I mixed this, so my resin is a little bit thick and bubbly. So I'm going to add just a drop or two of alcohol ink to help alleviate some of the bubbles, hopefully. It's pretty warm out today, but it's not as warm in as I thought it was going to be. So I'm going to also just spritz my mold quick. That should help with some of that. But I think I'm good with that color. And I may need just a little bit more. And that's going to have to kind of push into the nooks and crannies. So I'm going to pick out what color I want for the strawberry itself. Maybe we'll just go with ruby for this one. I'm going to mix this in a bigger cup. That's a good berry color. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to need more for the berry. The inside of this berry jar is pretty um, skinny, so it is actually going to take quite a bit of resin. It's a very um, skinny jar. And normally I can tell, oops, volcano. Um, normally I can tell if there's an air pocket through these clear molds, but I cannot tell down here in this part of the berry. Which is a little bit strange. I think maybe the silicone's just a little bit thicker there. So that'll either work or it won't. I'm not sure, but I'm going to move it. And I'm going to see if I can't somehow get out into these pieces. This may be a pain in the butt. 
yeah, these are very narrow little points. Okay. So I'm going to move this half and let it sit and do its thing. Hopefully it's good. I'm going to go ahead and do the paw print next. I'm going to do the base first, and I'm going to do this with just alcohol inks. Okay. So, I think I want to do the base blue. Mm, yes. Maybe teal. I'm going to do teal, pink, and purple. This one I'm just going to use ink. And this one I do need to fill to the top top. Into that edge. Whoops. Well, that was about perfect. Okay, so that one can sit and chill a minute. I'm going to do, and these are going to end up mixing. There's just going to be no way around it because I'm not going to pour it in two stages. I'm going to do the pink first. So maybe it'll maintain some of the light in the actual pad. I mean, not light. This is a pretty hot pink. That did not pour properly. And I just overflowed that one a little bit. But it's fine because it's going to mix with the purple regardless. Um, if you didn't want it to mix, pour one complete layer. Let it dry, then go back in with your second color. Okay, so I'm going to mix the purple in stages, I think, just in this small cup. You can see some of this blue is not under the lip. So I'm going to have to go in and fuss with these too. And 
Hopefully that's going to be the only spots of bubbles. And the rest of it should have poured just fine. I'm going to spritz these. All right, so I'm going to pause you quick. I'm going to clean up a little bit, and then I'm going to come back for the bee mold. Okay, so I am ready. I'm going to grab my epoxy. And I actually thought I'd had enough mix to do one more full project, but nope. Hopefully it's enough to get through this project. I thought I bought at some point the Tim Holtz like honeycomb color alcohol ink, but apparently I did not. So I'm gonna kind of mix my own honey color so I'm going to use some peach bellini. Because that's a fairly honey color on its own. And then I think I'm going to go with lemonade. I do have a third yellow out, but I don't necessarily think I'm going to need it. So... And then I've kind of been back and forth about what I want to do with the bee on the top of this mold. Because I am going to glue little jemmy bees to it after it's done, I think. So that can sit, but I think I'm just going to dust it with a chameleon. And this is called Holly Brown from um, the Alexis Micas. But I had thought about like painting individual color, coloring in black. I think I'm just going to try to keep my mica in its own lane and just do the whole thing. One color. They're not going to stand out as much with the light color resin behind them anyways. So... I'd even thought about going in with just um, gold foil, you know, gold leaf. But then I was like, no, that seems like a lot of work. As long as I don't push down into the larger crevices, it should work fine. And should basically stick to just the B at that point. So I'm gonna let that dry a second. These are the chameleon micas from the Alexis company. Oops. I didn't mean to spray that little one. That was really dumb. This is probably going to have some air bubbles. I can see them. 
down in. All right, so I'm just gonna pour this. Hopefully that alcohol that I accidentally spritzed didn't loosen me up too much in the bottom. And I need just a tiny bit more. So I'm not even gonna worry about color. Okay, so that'll be fine. I'm gonna spritz them again. And I'll keep watching these for a bit as the bubbles rise. I'll keep giving them a spritz. So that's going to be it for this portion. I'm going to come back and unmold all three of these tomorrow sometime, and we'll see what we have. Okay, I'm going to get these three unmolded and see what we got. Don't love the color those two mixed into. jar is fine. It's really, really cute. Kind of wish I'd just done it the purple. That hot pink did some weird stuff. But I can't really tell with a mold until I've poured it once. It's just, it's easiest for me to pour them all and have a, like how this is going to look. I do have a little bit of over on here. So that'll have to clean up, but that's no big deal. Hopefully I'll be able to run my deburring tool along there. And that's what I bought the little, um, um, the little baby like nail file blocks were to do like this type of edge. This is one of those where I cannot grab the side of the mold molds. There we go. Oh, that lid is really cute. The gold blends but pops. I don't even know if I want to put any other little bees on top of there or not. Like I was thinking. I had initially been thinking about putting one or two of these little gold bees as an added. But I don't think I'm going to. I think I like it just very simple and classic. This does have quite a few micro bubbles in it. Um, I knew it would because my epoxy was so thick, but that's all right. I just have a tiny bit of the gold mica left in the mold, which is not bad at all, actually. Now let's see what happened with this poor strawberry. This was the one I was most concerned about of everything. Yep, a couple bubbles in the lid. I knew that was going to happen with this, these leaves. Definitely need a very thin, thin, thin epoxy for this. A um, couple little sharp bubbles. That one I got a bubble right in the corner. But actually, that's the only one I didn't get out to the corner on, so that's not too bad, actually. Um, I love the color. I'm definitely going to pour this one again soon. I'm going to see if I can get the jar part opened. This one 
is very tight. I guess what I may need to pour some alcohol down into. Oh, it's so cute. If you could, if you wanted to, you could go in and color the center of every seed. I do have quite a few bubbles, but look at that. That is absolutely adorable. This strawberry is definitely completely adorable. We'll definitely be doing that again. I mean, it's a very skinny inside, but you could still definitely store some kind of treasure in there. I don't think I'd go through and color the seeds. I think I like it just red. This I may just pour a new lid for because the base is pretty decent. I'm just not happy with how that hot pink and the purple mixed. Um, and this is super cute. So, quite happy with all of these molds from Timu. Um, for the price, absolutely. So, there you go. That's all of them poured. Very cute. Like I said, the strawberry is quite thick, so it actually takes more mold, more resin than you would expect. I'm probably going to wash these and actually measure them all up so I can jot it down. I do have a running list somewhere. Sometimes I do write on them with a Sharpie, but then it gets like um, icky after a while of use. So I do try and keep a list going, but that is it. I hope you enjoyed. Um, it was just time for me to get some of these molds out and actually put them to use.